The first time I made mensaf after I got married was in Ramadan. So I followed my mom's instructions and I misheard one of the instructions that she said. She mentioned that I shouldn't add too much salt because the jamid is salty. And I heard that as add too much salt because the jamid is not salty. So I had a whole heap of salt in there and it was abnormally salty at iftar time. But thank God I had lasagna to serve on the side. This is what you need for the meat. Um, I have a lamb shoulder, which is cut up into pieces with their bones. And I'm going to cook that with some onion, some flavorings such as a cinnamon, um, uh, carmadan pods and bay leaves. And then to that, I'm also going to be adding some salt, black and white pepper, and a bit of Vegeta. So moving on to the yogurt component, we have some Greek style yogurt, a tin of sour cream, and then we have the jamid. The jamid is the hero of this dish. It is what makes the mansaf the mansaf. Jamid readily available in Australia. It already comes in a paste form and we just have to add that to our mansaf to give it the beautiful taste of authentic Jordanian cooking. And then the final component of this dish is the rice which I'm going to cook with some salt and turmeric and that will get layered on top of my bread. This is just normal sage bread or any thin bread could be used. Okay, let's start making the meat. I've got my pressure cooker here. I, to that I'm going to add some vegetable oil and I'm going to fry off my diced onion. We want to cook this onion until translucent. Now we're going to add our meat pieces. I'm going to saute these to give them a nice color before adding the water to make the stock. Once that's done, I am now going to start with the flavoring. So to my meat, I'm adding some bay leaves, a cinnamon stick and carmadan pods. I'm also going to add some salt, vegeta and some black and white pepper. Once all my flavorings are in, I am now going to add my boiling water. Just enough to cover that meat. The pressure cooker lid is gonna go on and it's going to cook for about 40 minutes to make a beautiful flavored stock that we're going to be using in the mansa. Moving on to the yogurt component of the mansa dish. So here I have my plain yogurt. I've got the sour cream and then finally our jamid. That's what it looks like. That goes in as well. So now that I have all my components in my pot, I am going to blitz them to make sure there are no lumps remaining before I put it on the heat. I have placed my yogurt on the stove top. It is on medium heat. I'm going to constantly stir that until the yogurt comes to a boil. My yogurt mix has come to a boil. So at this point in time, I'm going to drop in my cooked meat. And then I'm going to pass this stock through the sieve so that we don't get the extra flavoring uh, or the large flavoring pieces in our mansa. And now you add some of that stock till you reach a desired consistency with your yogurt soup. We're going to let that meat cook a little bit more with the yogurt. Moving on to the rice, I am going to add some oil to my pot with that pre-soaked rice. Now I'm going to add my salt and my turmeric and then the boiling water. I let the water come to a boil and it started getting absorbed by the rice. Now it is time to lower the heat and put the lid on until that completely absorbs the rest of the water. And here we have it, our Jordanian mansaf, done in a very simple way. I hope you guys give this a go and enjoy it. <laughs>